my neck look like a cooler, man, I hang with shooters Yo, MC and me got that ice, but man, my neck is cooler And he swear he got them bands, that nigga a loser For all my team players looking for cheap, fast, and reliable MT coins, go get right with UT Nice Once you guys reach UTNice.com, go ahead, select the 2K21 Then you guys can choose whichever platform it is you're buying your coins for Choose however much coins you guys want to buy Then you guys can go ahead and hit the buy now button now, before you guys check out, use my exclusive code SHOWTIME for a 6% discount off your order. So once again, guys, go get right with UT Nice. Use code SHOWTIME for a 6% discount off your order. And with that being said, we'll get straight into today's video. Hey, what is up, YouTube? It is SHOWTIME, and I am back with another video. Now, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best comp builds at every position in NBA 2K21. Yes, so this is going to cover all the type players out there, the lockdowns, the guards, the post scores, etc., etc. You guys will find some of the best builds in the game in this video. So stay tuned, pay attention if you guys want to see some of the best builds. For those of you guys who are still playing this game, you guys deserve to know the best builds out there, bro. There's a lot of you guys still grinding, maybe trying to hit legend or just having fun. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the video, like, comment, and subscribe. If this video can be of any use to anyone, your friends, your friend, your friend's friend, your mom, your dad, whatever, go ahead, share the video, send it to them. I'd really, really appreciate if you guys do that for me. And with that being said, we get straight into today's video on the best comp builds at every position in NBA 2K21 current gen. So for the very first build I have here for you guys today, it is the best power forward in the game. The best power forward build in the game. This is by far the best build um, for park, wagers, stage, comp stage, tournaments, whatever it is. I think it's the best all around power forward build. Um, it can do every, it can do, I'm not, the only thing it really can do is shoot, but that's kind of an obvious, it's an all red build. Um, but it's pr practically, I think, the best big man build in the game um, by far. Um, so we're just getting straight on how to make this build for the position is the power forward the best power forward build in the game From the handedness, it really does not matter uh, Now when you guys come to your skill breakdown you guys want to select the all red pie chart best pie chart in the game In my opinion, you guys are going to be going to be able to get rebounds get blocks get steals um, Also very athletic you guys are going to get a whole lot of dunk I like to call this build the walking contact dunk you guys can literally dunk on any and everybody using this build now with these physical profile you guys want to go with the agility and vertical you guys are going to be very fast have high uh, vertical so you guys can get nice block animations and also dunk a lot higher jump a lot higher so you know that definitely the best pie chart in the game in my opinion and uh, for these ticks you guys actually want to go ahead and max out everything in the red category except for the perimeter defense come up to your playmaking max out your pass accuracy and your post moves come to your ball handle give yourself six playmaking and um come to your finishing max out everything except the driving layup bring your driving layup just enough to you get these 16 finishing badges and then you can come back down to your perimeter defense and max it out you guys will have one tick left come back to the driving layup put one tick to that and there you guys have it you guys have 16 finishing one shooting six playmaking and 30 defensive badges and now for the body shape you guys actually want to go burly burly is the best body shape uh by far for all these center builds out there you guys have to go burly now for your height now i know it looks a little bit different but i'm going to teach you guys how to do this what i've done is i've actually went to the main menu you guys want to go to the main menu uh do not do this in the park it will not work a lot of you guys are asking i go to the main menu then go to settings and you guys will see measurement unit system something like that or you guys want to change it to the metric system it'll probably already be on imperial switch it from imperial to metric so that you guys can get this the reason why you guys want to do this is this will allow you to get the stats of a six foot nine big man on a six foot eight build so you guys will actually be able to get a 99 rebound on your blah build so for the height you guys want to go 2.04 2.04 meters does convert to six foot eight it is a six foot eight build just in a different metric system which will allow you to get the stats of a six foot nine build don't ask me how i don't know why i don't know how um but it's a thing everybody's using it it's by far the best center build in the game one of the best methods uh, to change your metric unit system or your uh, measurement system so go 2.04 you guys have that 77 speed 88 vertical 75 acceleration 64 strength and we'll move on with the weight you guys want to go the absolute lowest weight and there you guys can see it's starting to look like the blah build it is this it is the blah build just a little different glitched out so you guys get better stats so you guys go 84 kilograms you guys get 82 speed 80 acceleration 89 vertical 51 strength um, when you guys are 99 overall you guys have will have around a 90 speed 
um, you guys will have like around an 88 acceleration, uh, about a 99, uh, 90 something vertical. Just very insane stats, just really broken stats. Now with the wig span, you wanna max that out so you guys get your rebound up, there you guys see it. Uh, that 93 and 94 rebound, uh, you guys will get a plus four on those stats, which will basically give you a 99 or 98 rebound, whatever it is. Insane stats, absolutely insane. Um, and then for the takeover, you guys want to go with the glass takeover. And there you guys have it. This is the best power forward build in the game, the glass cleaning finisher. Widely regarded as the best build in the game. Um, I think it is the best center position in the game or power forward, whatever you want to call it. Great build. Definitely make this build if you are still uh, trying to figure out a great build to use. And we'll move on to the next build. Uh, the best comp build at a different position. So well, now for the next build, this is going to be the best post score build the best center build if we're being exact the last one we did was the best power forward build this is the best center build in nba 2k21 current gen by far very dominant very op uh, this is going to get you a lot of wins on the one court you can even do damage on the twos court it is definitely the most overpowered broken build in the game i'd say when you're inside the paint uh, so the best inside center build for the position you guys want to go center hand in this really doesn't matter either there's a jersey number obviously now for the skill breakdown you guys actually want to go with the all blue breakdown um skill breakdown uh chart this will allow you to guys be able to finish at the basket get driving um you guys with driving dunks standing dunks post hooks just a just a very very crucial crazy um inside build now for the physical profile uh, you guys want to go with the strength times agility a strength agility physical profile this will allow you to get a lot of speed and a whole lot of strength strength is very important when you're making center builds big men build post scoring builds inside center builds so definitely go with that uh, now with the ticks it's quite simple what we'll do here uh, you guys want to give yourself 30 finishing badges off rip so i like to max out the standing dunk the post hook max out my close shot and then come to your driving dunk give yourself that 67 driving dunk and there you guys have you guys will have that nice 30 finishing honestly that's all the ticks you need uh, now for the uh defensive uh what i'll actually do here is let's see we'll max out the interior max out uh let's see our block we'll bring our block here uh max our defensive rebound our offensive rebound let's see how much we can get okay so we can get 11 uh, let's see maybe we'll stick with this okay let's give ourselves 11 what's the most we can get okay so this is what we're gonna do for this build because there's many ways to make it i'll come here i'll max these out okay so we can get a max of 19 playmaking badges that's pretty insane uh, we're gonna bring this down let's see give ourselves 12 playmaking i'd say yeah 12 playmaking is very solid i don't think we need any more than that uh, you guys can come down to your defense give yourself that nice um 11 let's see give me your stuff 11 11 come to your shooting get that post fade up you guys are gonna be post fading with this build five shooting uh, we'll bring the free throw up Shit. this build i'm going to be showing you guys the best lockdown build in nba 2k21 current gen this build is very is used a lot i feel like some people have strayed away because they've used a different pie chart but i still feel as if um this is the best version of the lockdown build you can possibly make a lot of people uh tend to believe that this is the best one too i won't do a lot of talking i'll just get straight in how to make the build for the position you guys want to go point guard point guard will allow you guys to get a lot of playmaking badges um you guys will be very fast you guys got to keep up with other point guards so it's always best to go point guard for your lock builds um, honestly, I don't think there's too much of a difference if you make a shooting guard. I just prefer to go point guard so you guys get all those nice playmaking badges and all that stuff. Um, now, for the handedness, it doesn't really matter. Um, I like to go left because you are shooting the ball, and left hand shooters always shoot better. That's just something I always go by. Um, for the skill breakdown, uh, this is where it kind of make or breaks it. Um, a lot of you guys like to go red and green. I'm telling you guys. If you're a good lock and you know how to shoot the ball, you do not need red and green. All you're doing when you're doing is red and green is you're giving up defense. You're getting less defensive stats so you can get more offense. Uh, the reason why a lot of people want more offense is because they don't know how to shoot. They're just not good enough to know how to shoot. For all of you guys who feel as if you guys are skilled enough to shoot the ball and have more of the red and a little bit of green with it. Basically, if you know how to shoot with the Hall of Fame badges and you're like that, go ahead and go with this one this is going to be the better one because you're going to have way better defense than someone who's using red and green now do not get me mistaken the red and green is still nice 
Um, I'm not trying to put put any of you guys down for those of you guys who do not know how to shoot as well. If you do have struggle shooting and you feel as if you need these Hall of Fame badges, don't listen to me. You guys got to use what you guys do. You guys got to do what you got to do to win. Do what's going to get you the win at the end of the day. So go ahead and feel free to use the red and the green pie chart. It will allow you guys to get Hall of Fame uh, shooting badges. You guys will have much better shooting stats, but you guys will give up a little bit of defense. But this is probably still um, one of the better builds in the game, the red and green. Red and green is probably still arguably the best uh, lockdown build in the game but personally i always think that the mostly red and the little bit of green one is a lot better uh for the physical profile obviously you guys want to go with the most agility you guys want to be as fast as you possibly can so you guys can guard dribble guides guards people other people in 99 speed now with the ticks what i like to do is i'm going to max out everything in the red so we can play the best defense possible um then i'll max out in my three point my mid range i'll max out my free throw bring my post fade up so i can get 17 uh shooting or 16 shooting badges 16 is enough and then um a lot of people make a decision between these two things so personally i choose the playmaking over the the driving uh any of the finishing having playmaking badges is way more overpowered than having uh finishing um i see locks that have like almost little to none uh finishing stats upgraded at all and are still finishing at the rim playmaking is always the way to go for you guys lockdown you guys will be able to get dimer floor general um quick first step badges that will help you and your teammates the dimer badge every time you guys make a, a successful pass and they shoot off that pass their, their shooting percentage will automatically be raised and the same thing for the floor general anytime you're on the court um your teammates offensive attributes will um increase so playmaking is always better to have so i'll come to my playmaking and i'll get as much as i can the most i can get is nine so i'll bring this down get nine and use the rest on my driving dunk and there you guys have it this is arguably i think the best lockdown build in the game you guys get one finishing 16 shooting nine playmaking and 24 defensive badges now for the body shape you guys actually want to go burly um actually recently i've been hearing slight is the best so go ahead uh built compact compact is nice too like i've been hearing i've been hearing about compact slight and burly you guys have a choice i'm probably gonna go mm, let's try compact we'll go compact and then for the height six four six four is better than six five bro like no one can convince me that six four is uh six five is better than six four six five is not as good as six four six four you just get better movement um, 6'4 is just nicer, bro. I'm telling you guys, go 6'4. For the weight, you guys want to go with the lowest weight possible. You guys will be able to get a 99 speed at 99 overall. And with the wingspan, you guys want to max that out so you guys can get more pluses on your defensive attributes. You will lose a little bit of shooting, but you will be fine. If you know how to shoot the ball, you will be fine with this build. Get some boosts that will help you. You guys will have around an 80, uh, 80 something, uh, 3. You guys should be good, bro. Just learn how to shoot in the game and you will be good with this build. For the takeover, you guys obviously want to go lockdown. And there you guys have it. This is the best uh, lockdown build in NBA 2K21 current gen. And with that being said, we'll move on to the last and final build that I have here for you guys today. Now, with this last and final build, I will be showing you guys the best guard build in NBA 2K21. So this is another point guard build. Um, it's the best guard build. For all you point guards, are you speed boosting cheesers, people, you know, basically a Stephen Curry build. This is the best of the best build, in my opinion. So to start off, we'll go with the point guard, obviously. Uh, this is a point guard build. You are a guard. Point guard, being a point guard will allow you to get a lot of playmaking badges and also be extremely fast. So you guys have to go point guard. I don't know why people go shooting guard. I don't know if it makes too much of a difference, but I just always go point guard. Hand in this, go left. Bro, those left hand shooting point guards are too much, bro. I'm telling you, they're just really too much. For the skill breakdown, it is very, very simple what we'll do here. You guys actually want to go uh, with the yellow and green pie chart so let me just quickly find it right here here we have it the yellow and green pie chart the best pie chart in the game for all you guard builds out there definitely the best of the best uh, now for the physical profile you guys want to go with the all agility you guys want to be as fast as humanly possible so you guys can fry people off the dribble now with your ticks it's quite simple what we're going to do here you guys want to max out everything in your free throw your mid range and your three and then bring up your post fade to get 22 shooting badges pretty sure that's all you need 22 shooting badges should be more than good enough for your playmaking badges you guys can max out everything here bring up your post moves right up until you get another 22 playmaking badges so very quite simple there wait let me keep bringing it up oh, i'm bringing up the wrong thing come to post moves and there you guys have it you guys have 22 playmaking so 22 shooting 22 playmaking great start now we're gonna max out everything in the defensive area um 
and we can give ourselves let's see here 10 uh defensive badges now a lot of you guys will say uh guard sit corner you don't need that much defensive badges um honestly you guys those who say that honestly really do have a point so you, if you guys want to have more finishing that is fine too but finishing honestly does not make sense you're six foot two um with this build you're going to be six foot two you're going to be fairly small and you're not going to be attacking the basket like that and i'm telling you guys i i look at guards every day who have little to no finishing and are still dunking the ball insanely well so you guys want to max out your driving dunk bring your driving layup and then you guys have you guys will dunk with this build like i promise you with a 64 driving dunk it is doable i've seen people dunk all day long with very 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 low dunk rating so this is the best guard build in my opinion those 10 defensive badges are going to be really nice if you're versing iso or you're versing people who are using two guards or whatever it is you're still going to be able to contend um so yeah uh, this is the best one in my opinion uh, for the body shape i'm obviously going to go slight now with the height you guys want to go six foot two there you guys have it we get that nice 89 speed we get that high speed uh the weight you guys want to go the absolute lowest weight so that once again we can increase our speed to the maximum bring your wingspan all the way down so you guys can get um all those offensive uh, plus attributes to your shooting now with your takeover the best takeover in the game is the sharp shooting takeover obviously the playmaking one can be very broken if you guys know how to spam ankle breaker animations um you know you guys can go ahead and use the playmaking one you can spam ankle breaker animations on the sharp too so it really doesn't make the difference i say go sharp always and there you guys have it this is the playmaking shot creator the best guard build in the game now i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did like the video please do leave a like on the video hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so every time i post you guys can get a notification that i posted i have a lot more videos coming up soon so stay tuned i know i did take a few days break but i'm back better than ever and i will see you guys in the next one i'm out